everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create the responsive navigation bar using HTML and CSS. Look at the final demo, navigation bar with list items and whenever we hover over the list items, we can see the background hover effect. And whenever we resize the browser window below 700 pixels, we can see the hamburger button and when we click it, mobile navigation bar comes out. And we can see the nice banner image. And also go through the Dropbox link below this video, where you can download the project folder of this demo. Let's get started with the HTML structure, create the container development with desk nav section. And within that consider the unordered list with 5 list items with anchor tags in it. and also create the nav section for the mobile navigation bar. Finally, create the header development, which is used to create the banner image. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. For this demo, I'm using Roboto font family. Now start writing the CSS by setting the margin and padding values of all default HTML elements to zero. Use the user select property to prevent the user from selecting and copying the text on the page. Set the Roboto font family to the body. Give the 100% width, background color, 60 pixels of the hide and box shadow effect. and fix the navigation bar at the top of the page, by setting position value to fixed and top left values to zero. Here both desk nav and mob nav are stacked on each other. Remove the bullets of the unordered list and set the 75% of the width, 60 pixels of the height and position them in the center of the navigation bar by setting the margin left and margin right values to auto. Style the list items, by setting the 20% of the width which is relative to the 75% width of the unordered list, and float them to left. 
Here text align is used to place the things horizontally in the center. And line height is used to place the things vertically in the center. Use the transition property for smooth transition effect. Now when we hover over the list items, a background color should come. Add the active class to the first list item, so that the background color for the first list will be always active. Finally, set the color and make the text decoration to none. Now let's style the mobile navigation bar. Write down the media queries, when we resize the browser window below 700 pixels. Mobile navigation bar should get activated. Below 700 pixels desk nav bar will be hidden, so I set its display value to none. Now style the unordered list of the mob nav bar, just include the mob nav bar to the desk nav styles. Now hide the mob nav bar in the desktop version, and make them visible in the mobile version. Now let's add the hamburger menu, create the hamburger button development and include the icons within it. Here I am going to use the font awesome icons, font awesome is an open source site for free icons. For using the font awesome icons, first, we need to include the CDN link in the head section of the HTML document. First, open font awesome website then navigates to icons. Then search for icons whichever you want, including that element into your HTML structure. For the time saving purpose, I had opened the icons whichever I want, before starting this video. Just see how I'm going to include the icons into HTML structure.
hamburger menu should be hidden in the desktop version and visible in the mobile version. Now style the icons, by making its position value to fixed and place it in top right position and increase the font size and change the color. Now set the 60 pixels margin top and background color to the unordered list, and style the list items. and add the active class to the first list item to the mob list. Now let's create the toggle effect. So first, we need to include the jQuery CDN link and write down the jQuery code. Let's hide the close button by using the hide jQuery method. Now when we click the hamburger bars, bars should get hidden and close button must be visible. And same when we click the close button, close should get hidden and bar must be visible.
and active class must be added to the unordered list. Make the mob unordered lists display value to none. and active class must be removed. Finally, set the banner image using the header development. See how I'm going to set the banner image. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section, see you in another video.